Everyone thought he was just a school janitor. Then they discovered his heroic World War II past. In our everyday lives, we cross paths with different kinds of people unaware of their past. It's just how life is. At work or in school, we get to see the familiar faces every day without getting to know who they really are. Just like this seemingly ordinary hardworking janitor who is more often than not easily overlooked because of his humble job, but little did people know around him that this quiet janitor had a secret past so great he was considered as a hero. You only get to meet a few people who've done heroic acts in the past, especially during World War II. Let's find out this janitor's incredible secret heroic past. As groups of young men crowd the hallways of a busy military academy, a solitary figure makes his way through the crowd. An older man who's busy sweeping the floors and cleaning up the mess the cadets frequently make. Only a few stop to give him a second look. But little did they know, this janitor is hiding a secret past that's almost too incredible to believe. In the late 1960s, a Colorado native named William Crawford started working as a janitor at the USAF Academy in Colorado Springs. He works hard to keep the building clean, taking care of everything from emptying the trash to cleaning bathrooms. By the 1970s, William Crawford, known to his friends as Bill, had become a familiar figure to the cadets who called the academy home. Many of those who have crossed his path have even said that he was good at his job, but he still wasn't memorable to the young men who go to the academy. Colonel James Moshkat, who was a cadet at the Colorado complex in the late 1970s, has recalled a man who was easily overlooked. Bill didn't move too quickly, he wrote in a 2016 article for the United Service Organizations On Patrol magazine, and in fact, you could say he even shuffled a bit. Although the young cadets did not see Bill as anyone of importance, a chance find in a military history book would change their opinions of him forever, as Colonel Moshkat would soon discover the humble janitor was keeping a heroic past. It was in the fall of 1976 that Moshkat was going through a book about World War II. In it, he came across some interesting details about the difficult ground campaign that Allied forces had fought in Italy in 1943. Colonel Moshkat's attention was grabbed by a story of one man. He had been a private belonging to the U.S. Army's 36th Infantry Division and on September 13, 1943, the private had found himself in the middle of a brutal battle at Hill 424, an enemy-held position close to Alta Villa, Italy. While the rest of his platoon came under heavy machine gun fire, this private carried it upon himself to take down the enemy gun arrangement solo. Even more amazing, he managed to crawl close to the gun and throw a hand grenade in its direction and as a result, he destroyed the weapon and killed its crew. But the private didn't stop there. As his platoon advanced, he made his way towards another enemy machine gun, and again, he wiped out the weapon and its crew with a carefully aimed grenade. He then attacked a third machine gun post and defeated the crew once more. Then he took control of the enemy weapon and turned its firepower on the fleeing German forces. Just like that, he had secured the advance of his platoon. Unfortunately, the private was captured later on in the battle and was presumed dead by his company. But the news of his bravery soon spread like wildfire. His father even accepted a medal of honor on his behalf, the highest military honor awarded in the United States. Miraculously, the private appeared unharmed from captivity in 1944 and found himself a hero of the First Order. When Colonel Moshkat came across this incredible story, he couldn't believe his eyes because the name of the private was none other than William Crawford, or Bill as he's called, the same name as the janitor he had been walking past at the academy. Out of curiosity, Colonel Moshkat approached the janitor with the book, and after staring at it in silence for some time, William Crawford confirmed that he was the private in that book. According to Colonel Moshkat, Bill's response was simple, that was one day in my life, and it happened a long time ago. 
William Crawford stayed in the military until 1967 and retired as a master sergeant. When he returned to civilian life, he started to work cleaning the hallways of the academy. In fact, he had lived a quiet life ever since and had never even attended an official ceremony for his Medal of Honor. Upon Colonel Moshgott's discovery, his situation was about to change. The news that the quiet janitor had a secret past as a war hero spread quickly and cadets who had previously ignored him were suddenly anxious to share their time. With the recognition, Colonel Moshgott believes that the discovery also had an effect on William Crawford. After that fall day in 1976, he wrote in the On Patrol article, he seemed to move with more purpose, his shoulders didn't seem to be as stooped, and he answered our greetings with a direct stare and a stronger good morning in return. Despite his newfound acknowledgement, Bill continued working as a janitor, cleaning up after the cadets. Colonel Moshkat also remembered his graduation ceremony in June 1977 when the aging janitor wished him luck in his future career. Eventually, William Crawford retired to the town of Pueblo, Colorado and was in good company. During his time, the community was home to no fewer than four living recipients of the Medal of Honor.